Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today I'm bringing you my 10-year review of the Celestron Advanced VX mount. I can't believe I've owned this mount for 10 years. Uh, I was very young when I first reviewed this, so those videos are really fun to go back and watch. Um, but I'm just basically going to show you how reliable and how durable this mount has been for me over the last 10 years and how it's changed what I do in astronomy. So this is going to be a very unique video because I feel like a lot of people in the astronomy community um, don't have products for 10 years. So this is going to be a fun one for me to do. So let's get started. So to start this review off, I just wanted to give you the overall specs of the advanced VX mount and kind of give you the purpose of the mount as well. So the mount can hold up to 30 pounds of equipment, which is pretty good because the mount head is only 17 pounds. So a pretty good weight to capacity ratio there. And then the tripod weighs 18 pounds. And the tripod that comes with the Advanced VX is actually excellent. It has two inch stainless steel legs. So it actually gives you a lot of stability for this small portable mount. Uh, the hand controller will hold 40,000 objects in its database. So if you, you know, are wanting to star hop for a night doing visual, visual astronomy, you can easily view a bunch of different globular clusters, galaxies, planets, whatever you want using the hand controller. It's very self-explanatory. Uh, and then you have two auxiliary ports, so if you want to attach um, accessories, you can certainly do that. And if you still kind of use the older way to auto guide using the ST4 cable, there is a ST4 auto guide cable as well. Just make sure you don't uh, mix your uh, hand controller with your auxiliary ports and your auto guide ports. So that should all, you know, just make sure you're plugging the accessory into the, the right switch there. Now, as far as the purpose of the Advanced VX mount, it is a awesome lightweight class mount. I'm not gonna call it entry level, I'm just gonna call it lightweight class because for me, the Advanced VX gives me better results than entry level does. My auto guiding in my Advanced VX is excellent. It's under one arc second of error pretty much every night, which is really great. So I'm not gonna call this entry level. It's just a lightweight class. So you can put up to an 11 inch Schmidt Cassegrain on here. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that for astrophotography, that's a bit heavy, but for visual use, that's just fine. Um, and then you can basically come all the way down, you know, to little tiny refractors for astrophotography. So the mount itself is very portable. I feel like that's one of the main purposes of the mount is you can take it to a dark sky site very easily. And it's really friendly for just quick, easy setup and mobility that you can move it around quickly. Now, the nice thing about the Advanced VX as well is if you buy it with an optical tube, uh, you get more counterweights depending on the size. So if you buy a bigger optical tube, you'll get, you know, two or three counterweights. If you buy a smaller opti optical tube, you'll just get one. And the counterweights are 12 pounds and the counterweight shaft is just your standard 20 millimeters. I'll talk a little bit more about the counter sha counterweight shaft later. I have a story about it. It's probably not a good story, but I'm gonna talk more about this later. Um, but that's just a general overview of the mount itself. It's very portable. The controls for adjusting azimuth for polar alignment are, are pretty smooth, honestly. They're greased well and they're smooth, as well as for adjusting for um, elevation for polar alignment. And the nice thing too is it has a nice latitude scale, so you can get your polar alignment roughly dialed in uh, for visual use or, or astrophotography, and then you can precisely do it later. So the Advanced VX just overall is a great mount for portability and, uh, and mobility. The Advanced VX will always have a special place in my heart as it is the mount I learned astrophotography on and I still use it to this day. I've taken hundreds of astro photographs with this mount and different optical tube and camera setup. So I'm just going to roll these as I talk here. But the Advanced VX is capable of giving you excellent guiding performance for your astrophotography. So if you're looking to get into astrophotography, the Advanced VX is a very affordable and effective system to learn just like I did. The other reason that the Advanced VX really means so much to me is it was the first mount and telescope combination that I used to see Mars for the first time and other, other planets, the moon, um, the wild duck cluster, tons of different objects I viewed on my first night with the Advanced VX. And uh, I loved astronomy so much that I decided to pursue it professionally and finish my master's degree last year. And the Advanced VX actually did play a role in that because it really showed me how much I love astronomy. So if you're looking to be inspired with your first telescope mount, the Advanced VX is a great choice for astrophotography or for visual use. Now, a lot of reviewers will review products after owning them for like a week. I try and always have a minimum of six months before I do a review or a year, sometimes even two years. So when I made my initial Advanced VX reviews, like I said, I was 
pretty young, honestly. You can go back and watch those videos and I, I just chuckled because I was, I was young, but the information's still pretty good. But you can see the variety of optical tubes I use on the Advanced VX. So I, I reviewed the Advanced VX with a six inch Newtonian that you can buy with the mount, as well as an eight inch Newtonian. And that's one of my favorite setups on the Advanced VX is an eight inch Newtonian. Now the really cool part is in the 10 years that I've had the Advanced VX, Celestron's come out with a lot of new optical tubes that you can put on this mount or even purchase with the mount. So the Rasa 8, you can buy the Advanced VX with the Rasa 8 now. One of my personal favorites is the seven inch Max Sutov Cassegrain telescope. So if you're really into observing the planets, globular clusters in the moon, and you just want those really highly magnified views of, you know, objects that have small angular sizes, that's a great telescope as well. But my all time favorite observing setup on the Advanced VX is the eight inch Edge HD. It's very small, compact, and portable, and it comes with a 23-inch Celestron Luminos eyepiece, which is from their premium line. So right out of the box, you are ready to go from night one. So this is my favorite setup I have. Now, this is a special edition 8-inch Edge HD that's carbon fiber. Um, the normal version is still lightweight, and it's very compact, like I said. So taking this entire setup to a dark sky site is incredibly easy. Outreach is incredibly easy with an 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain and, and it will provide you some awesome views of a ton of different types of objects. So that's kind of the nice thing in the 10 years that I've had them out is there's so many optical tubes that you can now pair with the Advanced VX and do some really amazing work with them. Now speaking of reliability, I have a little story to tell you. Uh, one day I was done observing with the Advanced VX and the 8-inch Newtonian, so pretty big heavy telescope. I had two counterweights on the shaft here. So I always start by taking the telescope off, you know, getting it in its safe location. And uh, I came out to uh, finish, you know, taking down the mount and take it inside. And I tripped over the tripod. It was totally my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Two big heavy counterweights on the front with nothing to counterbalance it. And the whole mount came crashing down on me, specifically on my right shin. And oh man, did that hurt. Uh, but I was more afraid for the mount than I was myself. And shockingly, the mount survived. Uh, I did bend my counterweight shaft, actually. So I'm not sure if you can tell here, but it is slightly bent, so it will not work. I could not straighten it out. Um, so Celestron was great. They, they were able to get me, you know, a new counterweight shaft from a replacement mount. Um, so that ended up working out. I was able to replace that. I snapped my motor covers off, um, so you can kind of see they're hanging here by a thread. But guess what? The mount keeps on trucking. Actually, I should change that. The mount keeps on tracking. Uh, and it does great. Uh, this was about two years ago now, and I thought I broke my mount. You know, after eight years of heavy use, I never re-greased the gears. I'd never done anything to it. I dropped the mount on myself with 24 pounds of counterweight, and uh, nothing happened to it. The guiding wasn't changed whatsoever. It still guides the exact same. It still behaves the same way. I couldn't believe it. So this mount, extremely reliable. I still have the scar to prove it. Um, it hurt, I'm not gonna lie, but the mount survived, I healed, and everything's all good. So the reliability of this mount, I, I honestly, I couldn't believe it survived. It hit the concrete so hard, um, it survived, and it was just fine. So that to me is just a, another, uh, um, you know, big plus for the Advanced VX's reliability, and frankly, it's durability. It's just a mount that keeps going and it keeps working. One upgrade I highly recommend with the Advanced VX is the ADM Accessories dual saddle plate. So this is going to give you the ability to use a Vixen style dovetail, which is narrower, or the, the larger Lasmandi style dovetail, which is wider. And the reason I really recommend this is it fits with compression tightness. So essentially you're just going to compress up against your, your dovetail to secure it. And it's not going to chew up your uh, dovetails on your telescope. So the original Advanced VX saddle plate will do that. It'll chew, honestly, it'll chew the crap out of them. Um, but this one will not do that and it's a more secure fit. So to me, this is a worthwhile upgrade for the Advanced VX series of telescope. Um, and if you look at, you know, more expensive mounts from Celestron, like the, the C-Gem or the, the uh, CGX, they do have the, the compression style saddle, um, but the Advanced VX does not have that. So you can see just how easy this is. I'm just gonna slip the eight inch Schmidt cast grain here into the saddle and get those knobs tightened down and get everything compressed in. And that's it. 
One thing I think Celestron did an excellent job including on the Advanced VX is a good tripod. I think it'd be easy to overlook the benefits of a good tripod, but fortunately if you buy an Advanced VX you're going to get a great one. So this has two inch stainless steel legs, so very thick and durable. You know, I've tossed it in my trunk, my car, done all sorts of things with it over the 10 years I've had it. You know, it's got scratched up and stuff, but as far as durability goes, it's still the same tripod it always has been. Um, it also is adjustable for height, so you can, you know, raise the, the telescope up if you'd like to do that. And it also includes a nice little accessory tray. And I like to zip tie stuff to my tripod legs. So I've got my power adapter zip tied here. In the winter, I'll zip tie my, my uh, dew heater to it. But overall, this is a very quality tripod that Celestron includes with the Advanced VX, which I think is often an overlooked piece. And this tripod is so good, you could also use it with other equipment as well. So great job from Celestron on the tripod, 10 years, no problems. Now I'm gonna do a function test for you. Now two things to keep in mind. Number one, this mount is 10 years old. Number two, all you manufacturing, mechanical, and electrical engineers out there, please don't judge me. I mean, you can, but I have never lubed the gears, ever. I've never re-greased them or done anything like that. Should I have probably done that with super lube or something? Yes. Should I have probably changed a motor at this point, especially given that I dropped it on concrete and snapped a motor cover off? Probably. Have I done it? No. So assuming those things, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you what this mount sounds like after 10 years. So here we go. And guess what? It sounds brand new. Crazy. Hundreds of observing sessions, hundreds of astrophotographs, dropping it on concrete on myself, and it does not sound any different. How's that for reliability? So to say I love my Advanced VX would probably be an understatement. It is the one piece of equipment that I realized just the other day that has been in my collection for 10 years and nothing else has. I've gone through, you know, sold tons of telescopes, changed mounts, changed cameras, changed auto guiders, changed tons of stuff. The Advanced VX is the one piece of equipment that I've owned for 10 years that has not changed, and guess what? It just keeps on going like it's brand new. It tracks great, it auto guides great, and I love this mount. So I'm gonna keep using it, I'm gonna keep taking images with it, keep doing outreach with it. Things I've done, I've done um, some university events, I showed total lunar eclipses with it. I've done a ton of outreach with this mount, and it's extremely portable and it keeps going. So uh, this is the, the 10 year review of the Celestron Advanced VX, and you can see, even with a hard fall and hard use, frankly, Lots of bumps, nicks, scratches, everything. Um, it is a fantastic mount if you're looking to get into astrophotography, if you want to do you know, lightweight, portable astrophotography, anything like that, the Advanced VX is going to suit you really well. Now before I end this review, I wanted to share my favorite memory of the Celestron Advanced VX in the 10 years that I've had it. And this is easily my favorite memory. For the first time ever, I was able to view a total lunar eclipse. I'd never seen one before and I imaged every single phase of the lunar eclipse and made a big mosaic. So I stayed up all night from about 11 o'clock till about 4.30 in the morning, and I had an incredible experience with my Celestron Advanced VX and the Celestron 8-inch Newtonian that came with the mount. And I actually used my Canon T3i to shoot the whole thing, which is actually the camera I'm using to film this video. Pretty ironic, but hey, this is a low budget channel, so again, don't judge. I haven't upgraded my camera in like 10 years. <laughs> well, everyone, that wraps up this 10 year review of the Celestron Advanced VX mount. I just wanted to thank you for watching these videos this long. You know, looking back at my old Advanced VX videos, I can't believe I've been doing it this long. I've learned a ton from you and just from making the videos in general and from astronomy in that amount of time. So it's been a great journey. It's also been awesome to make honest video reviews. You know, I'm not paid by major astronomy companies or anything to make these videos. I can bring you my honest thoughts, you know, like uh, how I think the dovetail should be upgraded or, or this or that. But really, I think the Advanced VX is a tremendous mount. And uh, I just, I can't believe I've had it for 10 years and it just keeps going. So anyway, thanks so much for your support. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day and that you found this video helpful. And as Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson would say, I bid you to keep looking up. Clear skies.